Hey guys, Silicat2 here. Welcome back for more Mega Man Battle Network 2. I was going to hold off starting recording on this until later, but as you can see, I got a style change. This is a new style as well, but what? Electric custom style. This is an elect navy style, ideal for navy chip combos. This style starts with seven chip options in a custom menu. Also, charge shots will turn into zapping shots. Careful though, you take twice as much damage from wood. Wow, good job, Mega Man. Electric custom style. Wow, I'm just bursting with energy. You can always pick Mega Man from the menu and change style. Okay. Mega Man's memory can only hold info for up to two styles. Which style do I want to overwrite? Okay, I am going to change styles because both of these styles are very useful. Huh? Hmm. Whatever. Anyway, I am hunting for zennies at the moment, so I will see you guys later when I have plenty of zennies. Okay, I'm at the net merchant in Undernet 2. And as you can see here, we have an Elect Blade R that we never purchased, so I will be getting that. It's 9,000 zennies, but definitely worth it. Now I'm... Um, hang on a sec. Okay, now, we are going to do the Gospel Duplication trick on these Fire Blades, Aqua Blades, and Elect Bait Blades, so be back once I've done that. Okay, I'm back. Now, at our disposal, we have even more Fire Blades and Aqua Blades and Elect Blades to get. So let's get them. Let's get them all! Look, I got mail. Custom style type styles allow you seven chips to choose from in the custom screen. The open folder step in add is skipped. You can make many combos. This is custom style. Try out lots of combinations, Lan. Yeah. Electric custom style is widely regarded as the best style in the game. Short of a secret style we might unlock later. Because not only is it custom style type but the electric but the uh, zap ring charged attack is very useful when you're trying to hold people in place for an awesome chip combo At this point, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> you know? Oops. <clears throat> I'm stupid. <clears throat> As you can see, I've been buying Fireblade R's, Aqua Blade R's, and Elect Blade R's from all these shops. In addition, we can get more things from the Bug Frag shop. For example, Attack Plus 30 and a Recub 80. This is for the purpose of creating the ultimate folder, Gateman Strikes. The only thing that would ma that would make it even better is if uh, all the Fireblades, Aquablades, and Electrate, 
Electblaze were in the asterisk code, but we don't have that, and we will probably not be getting it anytime soon. So, what do we have? We have a two-code folder with the two strongest program advances in the game. Assuming you live outside Japan. With that being said, let's go to the square and check out the uh, S license test. Or the double S license test, rather. Note also that since we have 15 sword chips in our folder, we have nothing to fear from the, those uh, blue shadow guys. Times like these, we, have all, we all have time on our hands. I'm the double S license test examiner. You came to take the test? There are two problems. If you pass, I'll give you a double S license, right? For the first problem, you will perform a mission. Influenced by gospel, four navvies have formed a gang called the Black Navvies. There are only four members, but each one is notorious. They are not eliminated now while they are small. They may grow into a major criminal organization. You will be the agent of the Black Navvies' destruction. The members of the Black Navvies are spread about. They are all black and they look very mean. One member is often spotted in the Yumland area. This is problem one. You can only take the double S license test if you got the army data from World uh, from World 3 area. That's why we went there to get it first. But now we have that, we can head for Yumland and go take out this black navy. Capcom is not only a bunch of furries, they are also racist. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, here we are in Yumland. Let's uh, look around for this guy. Hey, what the heck? I missed a mystery data? Are you serious? And it was a reg up one? Mamma mia. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's look around for the guy. Fireblade, Aquablade, Electblade gives you the program advanced Life Swords 3. It has a whop attack power of a whopping 600. This will be very useful when we're taking on a Protector 2s and 3s in the World 3 area. And we seem to have found our guy. Number three is in Utopia. Alright. Let's take him on. Here we can see just how powerful this Life Sword program advance is. It is awesome. And having Gate Man on our side only makes things better. Okay, Navi number two is in Natopia, so well, let's go to Natopia. <clears throat> also, we have our old music back. Awesome. I'm starting to miss this music. Let's jack into the alley radio. And look around for Black Navy number three. While looking for Black Navy number three, we came across Nightman three. So let's take him out. I'm going to add one of these chips. 
and we will wait for him to jump so we can start spamming Life Sword 3 on him. And stuff. But Gate Man will have to do in the meantime. There. And that is how you take care of Nightman 3. And we got him with a busting level of S. That is awesome. That is part of a side quest we will need to be doing later in the game. Well, not really later in the game, because we're at the post-game now, but... We'll want, I, we'll want to keep track of those for later. Didn't know we could uh, fight a... Matar 3 and Natopia 1. That's interesting. There he is. The. Ah, I missed! Doll, I missed! Alright, screw this. Number two is in the undernet. Is that seriously the best you got? Seriously? You take these guys out with my eyes closed. Although I probably shouldn't because I might get a meteor on my head. Okay, number two is in the undernet. Since we're so close to the undernet as things are, we can just walk here, right? So let's go. And look who we came across! Shadow Man 3! Let's take this guy out with an S rank too. Okay, come on, come on. That should do the trick. Shadow Man 3! <laughs> what, again?! Yeah, you want to watch out for the Miramasa. It can KO you in one hit if he's lost more than 1,000 HP. You want to avoid that as much as possible. It does however much damage you've done to him. It is an amazing chip when you have it, but it's really the biggest, but it's also the biggest threat Shadow Man has to offer. While I'm here, let's untrap some stuff. 50,000 zennies, awesome! AGAIN! And we got the Mirror Massa for ourselves! That is 
amazing! <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that chip. 100 zennies. Found him. But we will be taking him out in the next episode because this episode has gotten long enough. So, I will be seeing you guys later.